The big four were all there, and it was indeed classic. Each game went down to the wire. Tony Seaman tips off our big four classic coverage from Wells Fargo Arena. If there's ever a doubt about these UNI Panthers, that doubt was destroyed tonight. Iowa State taking on Northern Iowa, and it went down to the wire. Let's get right into it. You and I led the majority of the night. That's Paul Jesperson. Like butter. He had 21 points. You and I led by as many as 11, but no lead is safe against Iowa State. Off the turnover. George Niang tosses it up to Abdul Nader for the jam. Niang had a game high 30 points. It wouldn't be Iowa State highlights without a little of this. Jameel McKay. Here he throws it down. ISU kept plugging away. Every time Iowa State would make a run, Wes Washpin would answer. Drives to the basket. Fancy finish. He had a great night. 28 points, 11 assists for the double-double. Now is where things get interesting. Under 30 seconds to play. Iowa State down one point. They need to press. It's a scramble for the ball. It bounces off of Matt Bohannon's knee. Iowa State ball, and McKay is loving it. Now, Iowa State with a chance to take the lead. George Niang slips. The ball comes loose. Iowa State has to foul Washburn. Washburn would make one free throw to make it a two-point game. Hold on to your hats. Final play. Monte Morris, who hit the floater to beat Iowa, goes up and misses. You and I beats Iowa State 81 to 79 to hand the Cyclones their first loss of the season. They have to believe in in uh, in their program and they have to believe in who they are. There's no question. And so when you do come into a stretch um, against a team like this that when they get going, you know, I don't I don't know. There aren't, there's not a lot of teams that can slow them down once they get started. And they were going in the second half and they had all the momentum in the second half and at some point, we had to stand up and just get a couple stops. And uh, we just really want to prove that we we can play with anybody. And uh, I know Coach believes in the guys and the locker room believe it as well that no matter what game we're in, we're never out of it. For Iowa State, this serves as a tough pill to swallow, but there is a lot of season left. Obviously, there's some things you have to correct, but I think we're we're still improving as a team and every day trying to get better. I mean, we had one downfall. I don't think that's going to make a you know, determine who we are. Uh, everybody's down. I mean, I'm down. Uh, I want to win. I want to win every game. I mean, you know, none of us have lost a lot of games. And so, you know, but I understand that, you know, I can't go nuts and do this. It's just not my personality. I'm going to go to work and be ready to go for Cincinnati. And as for those Panthers, let's recap this resume. They now have a win against fifth ranked Iowa State and top ranked North Carolina. Safe to say, you and I fears no one. At Wells Fargo Arena, Tony Stephen, KCCI, Iowa Sports Leader. Drake came to the well on a three game losing streak. All they needed to up their game was that big time atmosphere that the Big Four Classic had to offer, taking on those favored Iowa Hawkeyes, and Drake was not messing around. First half, Dominic Olenzak underneath made it 11 6 Drake, but check it out the outlet pass down low to Nicholas Bear on the other end. The walk on throws one down. Bear had a Incredible day, 13 points. Late first half, Reed Timmer. Feeling it. Three pointer. It was a 30 to 30 ball game. Jared Utah had a lot of foul trouble in this one. Didn't play much in the first half. There's more Nick Bear, the freshman from Bettendorf. Coach France said he's going to have to wind up giving this kid a scholarship. He's earned it. 13 points, seven rebounds for Bear. But Drake hanging around. Iowa did build that. That big lead, but Drake sticking right there with him. He had 25 points, five assists. Drake found himself with a four point deficit down the stretch, and Mike Gazelle says, uh, Yeah, this is Iowa's ball game. The Hawkeyes do win it 70 64, and Mike Gazelle with the 17 points becoming that floor general the Hawkeyes need. This the thing you gotta love about him. He's just gonna keep coming. You know, he, he, you know, he feels terrible about the game the other night, like a lot of people do. But he's just going to come back and go to work and, and, and uh, going to keep attacking you and making plays. Clearly a difference in the game. So anything short of that kind of point guard play can be a lot harder to win. As far as those Drake Bulldogs, they got a great game from Reed Timmer in a losing effort. He was in his second Big Four Classic. But this year I definitely took it personal and had a chip on my shoulder to pump back and play at the big four and play uh, as best my ability and I think um, our team did a good job of not you know being scared or having the deer in the headlights look just 
trying to be physical with them and see what happened. And I think we did a good job of that. They certainly did. On the women's side, the Drake Bulldogs fall at Northern Illinois, 87-73. Well, the Iowa women have won their 23rd straight home game. They knock out the Bradley Braves, 60-53. You know, the Rose Bowl is not until 